Back in 2015, Audi showed us the e-tron Quattro concept. And good to its word, an incredibly similar production version will follow in 2015. We're calling call it Audi e-tron, just e-tron, because this is a quite important Audi sub-brand for the future, says Audi board member Dr. Diet Mervagenwitter. There's quite simple logic behind that. We had, in the middle of the 1980s, the Audi Quattro, and we almost have called it just Quattro. That name, of course, has stuck around via a badge on the back of any all-wheel driven Audi. So we're doing the same with the Audi e-tron, which is our first fully battery-powered car. If electric cars really take off, then, this will be the pioneering vehicle Wagenwerther hopes we remember fondly, much like petrol heads do the early Quattro. Does that mean it'll be all boxed wheel arches and squat stats? It's very close to the show car. This is a really sub-oriented, fully battery car. No, then. The e-tron Quattro concept was something of a looker in sub-terms, mind, and its design has clearly influenced the new Audi Q8, too. We expect the e-tron to be a wee bit smaller, though. E-tron badging, meanwhile, will be used on plug-in hybrids as well as full Fs. For us, e-tron is always electrification, and in the beginning, we'll see more plug-in hybrid cars. Later we will see a bigger share of fully battery vehicle cars. This is part of our strategy 2025, where we're changing our business model from just selling cars, to also providing more mobility services.